If he gives you this look, get out. Get out quickly. What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review and this time we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Nappy Head. Now first off, I know this review is a million years late, but I'm really only doing this for one person because he asked for it and I always try to give everyone I can what they ask for because I love the support that I get from you guys. So like I said, that's why I'm doing this review. I really had no intentions of reviewing this figure after getting it this late, but who cares? I do think that this guy looks extremely cool. I haven't busted him open yet, so I'm going to do just that in this video. Now, before I do that, of course, we got to go over that sexy packaging, and it's pretty much what we've been getting with the Dragon Ball Z line. Cool image on the side with the window packaging name right there, Dragon Ball Z, Tamashi Nation's Bandai at the bottom. Image on the bottom, Nappa right there, SH Figure Arts, Nappa on the side, no image on that side. A couple cool images on this one, his hand right there, that's cool. His ugly face on the top of there. Then, of course, we get some poses we can put him in right here. SH Figure Arts right there, and then a bunch of stuff at the bottom that doesn't really matter. So, yeah, packaging is the same as what we've been getting, but, I mean, it's cool. I like it. I really dig the new style packaging that they chose for the Dragon Ball Z figures, but that doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside, so let's go ahead and take a look at Nappy. Now, straight out of the packaging, I gotta say that this figure looks exactly as it is supposed to. Big and ugly, like Vegeta said in the show. <laughs> but now, on a serious note, guys, this figure is extremely awesome. And I know you guys probably already know it, because I'm sure you guys have seen a thousand reviews on this guy already. But man, seeing him in pictures, I wasn't all that hyped for him. But now, looking at him face to face, having it in my hand, this guy looks absolutely Phenomenal. I hate the lack of shading, but there's a little bit in there. And man, honestly, I really don't have much of a problem with him. This guy is super dope. I know the articulation is there because I've already seen reviews and stuff on him. But um, man, this, this is pretty dope. I gotta say, one thing I don't like is the fact that his hands can't go down any lower than this. They're always gonna be out this way, but I'll cover that more when it comes to articulation. But overall, let's go ahead and take a look at how tall he is. Now to the top of his head, Nappy stands right at 7 inches as you guys can see. And I believe he's a little bit too short. I'm hearing that he is. I'm not sure, but we will take a look at some size comparisons a little bit later. Now articulation wise, he does look up that much, which is pretty good. Looks down that much. His neck does have a tilt so you can turn it however you want to. He does have a gap if you turn it too much, so be sure to watch out for that. Of course, his head can turn all the way around. It is on a ball peg. These flip up just like Vegeta. His arms go out only about that much, so not very much at all. He does have a butterfly joint in there just a little bit. It's almost useless, but I mean, it's there. He does have a swivel right there at the bicep love that double jointed elbows of course his hands are on a ball peg and they are a little bit limited by this piece on the gauntlet but it's not bad he does have a diaphragm joint as you guys can see that works pretty well he does have a swivel right there at the waist so you can turn him however you want to these flaps as well go out he does have the drop down method on his leg just a little bit not much like the other figures but it does help him to kick out that far which is good he does have a swivel in there his leg goes back about that much he can do the splits about that much before you force it so i'm not doing any extra he does have double jointed knees which is awesome no swivel right there but he does have great ankle pivot i dig that ankle pivot works and he does have a toe hinge now for me unfortunately this one seems to be stuck and i don't want to force it because i feel like if i push too hard it's gonna snap so yeah on this one it's pretty limited for me but um yeah overall i think his articulation is pretty good it's very decent and I dig it. The only thing I dislike is the fact that, like I said earlier, you can't get his arms to go down any further than this. You can turn them so that he can put his hands on his hips, but you just can't get him to go down any further. And I mean, I don't think that's something that they could have helped because this guy, proportion wise, is extremely huge. And I think they wanted to get it more accurate. So I can work with it. It's cool. 
Now for accessories, he does come with his standard grinning face. And one thing I like about all the faces is the fact that they actually sculpted the teeth in there, as you guys can see, because that's how they were in the show. And it just goes to show how much attention they paid to the detail. I really dig that they did that instead of just painting it white like they do with most of the figures. So I think this worked out pretty well. He does come with fist hands, of course, like every Dragon Ball Z figure should. He does come with two pair of karate chopped hands, but these can also be from when he's flying. So I dig these. The sculpt on these is awesome. It kind of looks like he's doing Big Bang Attack, but that's, it's just cool that they included these because these are a pair of hands we've never seen before. Once again, he gets another pair of hands that we have not seen before, and it's these, kind of like a fighting style pose and and I really dig these. I'm so glad that they included these. The sculpt work on these is absolutely amazing. This is just awesome. I'm glad that they did that. And last but not least, he comes with the hand from his gigantic storm technique from when he blew up the city the moment they arrived on Earth for absolutely no reason. But yeah, dig that. It looks well. And you're probably going to see me posting a lot of pictures of him with these hands. Now for faces, he comes with... Um, this one right here where it kind of looks like he's scared of something or it can be from when he's throwing his bomber dx that i'll show in just a second but uh yeah ugly face it looks so weird i love how they did the eyes <laughs> i dig it it kind of makes me think of the guy from aqua teen hunger force i can't remember his name carl i think the next door neighbor anyway that's another story he comes with this a technique where it's kind of like he's powering up or you can say he's throwing the bomber dx again mine has a little bit of a black spot right there pretty sure that'll come off so i'm not too worried about it but he does have some sculpted veins in the head and it's shiny <laughs> but i really dig these faces and last but not least he comes with the same head that he has on except with a scouter now one thing i do hate is the fact that you cannot put a scouter on this guy it would have been cool if they put like a small spot behind the ear of each figure where you could plug the scouter on him but i don't know it probably would have been a little too much work for them so for the main accessories that's all you get but there are a few more i must show and of course, that is the Bomber DX Technique and the Tamashii Nation stand that he comes with. And as you guys can see, the stand is the same thing we normally get. But the Bomber DX, it kind of looks like a little grenade or something. Like he's throwing an explosive energy wave. It doesn't really look like it does in the show, which, I mean, it's not a problem to me. It's this dark yellow and the technique is actually pretty bright, but... I mean, it works. It's cool when we get effect pieces for Dragon Ball Z figures because we don't always get them, so we got to appreciate what we can get. Now, for some size comparison here, you're standing next to the SH Figure Arts 2.0 Scouter Saiyan Vegeta, which is the one that I know everyone would want to see, and then the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Goku with the normal head put on him. Next up here, he is standing next to SH Figure Arts Super Vegeta or Super Saiyan Vegeta, whichever one you prefer to call him. And of course, a custom trunks that I got made a while ago by my boy Public Enema. Lastly, here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Golden Frieza from Resurrection F and the SH Figure Arts SDCC Super Saiyan Powered Broly who didn't want to cooperate for this photo, but as you guys can see, Broly still hunched over the way I have him standing because it's the only way I could get him to stand. Broly still towers over Nappa. Now, Nappa is most definitely not one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters. In fact, he is one of my least favorites because I hate some of the things that he did while he was in the show. Like, I went and I re-watched Dragon Ball Z when he appeared and turned on my lights a little bit, but... He came in, he wrecked everyone, man. He killed some of our favorite characters, Tien, Chao Tzu, uh, not Yamcha, Yamcha died before. But he killed some of our favorite characters, man. Like, ah, uh, I hated him for that. And then Piccolo, and then he tried to kill Gohan. Like, oh man, and of course Krillin too, but you know, we knew Krillin wasn't going to die. They saved his death for later. But anyway, this figure, honestly, I got to give it to him. Tamashii Nations did a really, really, really good job with this figure, and I highly appreciate it. I'm glad they gave it to us because I know everyone's been wanting it for a while. It wasn't really on my list, but I had to get it, and it is a gift from Bay. Thank you, Bay. I really do appreciate it once again. Pretty sure everyone's getting tired of hearing me say that in my videos, but that's the only reason I got this guy. So, yeah. But anyway, back to the figure. I will say I got to give this guy a 9 out of 10. Like, everything about this figure is almost perfect. I mean, I can't really find any issues to complain. I was thinking that there wasn't any shading, but 
there is subtle shading throughout the skin tone and it's really good even the tail looks really good like everything about this guy is awesome i know some people don't like the fact that they didn't sculpt the black lines in there but i mean that's not really a problem to me at all i don't know why that's such a big issue with some people but Overall, it looks like this guy literally came straight out of the anime and put into figure form. There is, I have no issues with this guy at all. And that's just how I feel about it. So yeah, I give this guy a 9 out of 10. Hope you guys like the review. Uh, to my boys, CC Figs are silently articulated as you go by now. I really hope you enjoyed this because I did this one specifically for you. But um, yeah, to everyone else watching, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you don't like the video, give it up a thumbs up anyway because it's an action figure review and that's what you guys came here for. And as always, I'm Animated Heroes. Subscribe to me on everything you see listed in the description below and I'm out. Peace.